All right, you too. Hey, what's good, man? Hey. All right, look. All right, all right, all right. Back with another video. Hey, check me out, bro. I kind of know I've been... All right, I'm going to tell you this before I send this video. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, pretty, I'm guessing I'm going to call this Zion. Then got 500 pounds type shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to just name it something like that. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I want to apologize to whoever, you know what I'm saying, want me to upload and I haven't been uploading. And I want to tell myself to stop being a, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to cuss. So I'm going to tell myself to stop being a lazy person, you know what I'm saying, upload videos, you feel me? Because, bruh, you know what I'm saying, I ain't going to get into the whole speech. I want to see the video, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let y'all see the video. I'm going to give y'all a speech another time. I speak on that joke another time, but look, Zion, you can lose the weight, man. What are you doing, bro? Zion Williamson took a huge step back in his progress to getting back onto the basketball court. But first, make sure you subscribe and turn on our notifications for a chance to win $500. And now that we get all that out of the way, cue the intro. Hold up, bro. 500. Hold up. What do you say? Get all that out of the way. Cue the intro. No, no, what you say? No, no. And turn on our notifications for a chance to win five hundred dollars. And now that we get all okay. that out of the way, okay. cue the intro. Right. Scary. One, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? We've all been waiting for quite some time for the number one overall pick in the 2019 NBA draft, Zion Williamson, to gradually make his return to the New Orleans Pelicans. This has been a huge dramatic yeah. situation over the offseason. I mean, starting from when his own family came out and put this rumor, apparently, that Zion Williamson might not want to be a member of the New Orleans Pelicans for much longer, all the way back in June of 2021. The article's yeah. by the best source in the entire nba champ sharanya saying that sources say that certain family members of zion williamson want him on another team and that there's been dysfunction within the pelicans for months now amongst the targets of zion williamson's criticism at the time was head coach stan van gundy who they felt was too rigid and demanding so then on september 22nd 2021 there was a pretty interesting article that was published by nola.com on the pelican section now bear in mind a lot of people like to write off this article mainly because of zion's comments about it in the future but it's really interesting because what they said in this article did make a lot of sense saying that throughout his rookie season zion williamson had grown increasingly frustrated with the pelicans for the number of hoops they required him to jump through to return from the knee injury he suffered in the preseason the team initially provided a return to play timetable of six to eight weeks but it took more than three months for zion williamson to get back on the floor when he was finally given the thumbs up to play he was placed on burst limits which he detested and the way Zion Williamson's return was handled caused significant tension between him and the team's medical staff. Now, this is probably the most famous part of the entire article, where things apparently got so bad between Zion Williamson and David Griffin that although they communicate infrequently now, David Griffin tried hard in Zion Williamson's rookie year to forge a bond. One example, during the Pelicans' bubble stay, David Griffin asked to meet with Williamson and played the piano for him. Now, this was a huge talking point. Wait, nigga, what? Point, believe it or not, during what? media day for the New Orleans Pelicans, and Zion Williamson had this to comment on it. Um, my relationship with Griff, um, I don't think he can play the piano. Last time I checked. Uh, but yeah, it's all love with me and Griff. Yes, yeah, I mean, it ain't much to dive into. It's just love between us. Uh, we're both competitors. We both want to win. Um, do we disagree on some things? Yeah. I mean, who, who, who agrees on everything? But... Uh, I think that's what makes our relationship great. Uh, we both bring the best out of each other and we're just gonna keep building off that. But there are parts about this article that I could believe. In the very beginning of David Griffin's ten. All right, tell me up, bro. I'm gonna show you who this nigga remind me of, bro. No, I'm saying. All right, look, look, look. This is this nigga look like on God. On God, he look like this nigga right here. Bro, I, you cannot tell me he's animal like this nigga right here, bro. You, you can't tell me that shit. So you, hold up. So y'all telling me 
Zion don't like this nigga right here. Please tell me. Tell me. I can't be tripping, bro. I can't be tripping. Like, there's no way that I'm tripping. It's, it ain't no way. Look look at this nigga, bro. Look at Zion. There's no way they ain't the twins, bro. And, I, I swear to God, I was... But I there are parts about this article that I could believe. Time, In the very beginning of David Griffin's tenure, I think he did everything right. He properly navigated the Anthony Davis trade. He turned Anthony Davis into Josh Hart, Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, and multiple first-round picks, including the number four overall pick that, that year it. from the Los Angeles Lakers. He was able to flip the number four overall pick to the Atlanta Hawks, who would eventually turn into DeAndre Hunter. He was able to trade for Steven Adams, and it seemed like the post anthony davis new orleans pelicans were actually going to be one of our favorite teams to watch on league pass but ultimately it seemed like he fumbled that entire situation as he would go on to give stephen adams one of the worst contracts in the entire nba he would punt on alvin gentry after his first season as the president of basketball operations to bring in his own guy stan van gundy and that didn't work out either yeah, and bad, eventually bro. he would lose lonzo ball to the chicago bulls for absolutely nothing despite zion williamson saying that he hopes that the new orleans pelicans keep lonzo ball the direct quote being it would be dope williamson said of lonzo ball playing with the pelicans and playing alongside of him i think me brandon and zoe the three of us we have a great relationship and i really would want zoe to come back and he knows that but like i said the reality of the situation is zoe's a grown man so he's going to make the decision that's best for him the only thing i can say is i hope he stays now on the laced up podcast we floated the theory of whether or not zion williamson is actually gaining a bunch of weight on purpose so he could force a trade to another team what are the odds that zion's that doing this on purpose team, man like you were an team. athlete throughout your entire career you looked like a literal greek god when you were in duke he wanted to go to new york he wanted to go to a large market and nba we wanted him to go to new york and as time went on who hey tell me who the last can do this i don't know who you know what i'm saying who's um you would see Zion Williamson tape the court periodically, and then eventually we started getting some more positive news. Zion okay. Williamson's cleared to practice. Zion Williamson okay. more recently Correct. was cleared for five on five the last time we made a video, and it seemed like things were trending up. Who says building websites as a team has to be? Uh, bro, I'm not getting no, I ain't getting no ad block, I ain't getting YouTube premium, my nigga. Do not ask me. Do not ask me. Up for the man but now we got some pretty bad news and it started with this past week and this is coming from the same source that we've always been getting our information from espn's andrew lopez if it hasn't been andrew lopez we typically get our information from sham sharanya saying that zion williamson has had a setback in his return to play while he was scheduled to practice with the new orleans pelicans on thursday foot soreness prevented him from doing so as first reported by espn's andrew lopez and the athletics will gullery zion williamson had been playing four on four per ESPN, but since his foot is sore, the Pelicans will dial back his workload in the short term. He will not be taking any contact in his workouts during their two game Texas trip this week per The Athletic, but the team reportedly doesn't see this as more than a slight delay. Head coach Willie Green said that it's part of the process and when you are dealing with injuries and you ramp up some, there's a possibility that you can get a little soreness, which is what he is dealing with currently. Green also added that Zion has been working his tail off to come back and is frustrated but understand that he has to keep getting past these hurdles he also stressed that the new orleans pelicans are very optimistic that the soreness will go away after a few days and will be able to ramp up zion williamson's activity again we don't want to put our guys on the floor and put their careers at stake or in jeopardy all of our guys are too important to do something like that so that's the diligent work that we are doing right now there's this famous video of zion williamson warming up every time this guy makes a public appearance it just happens to go viral nowadays I mean, and it seems yeah, like that's that's I mean, literally what happened to him bro. again last night. Some fan took a picture oh, of Zion man. Williamson last night, and this is how he's currently looking like, man. Now, of course, the man is probably wearing man, a ton of sweaters, I'd like to think, underneath. But for the most part, man, this doesn't look like a guy that's a genuinely fit human being. Down no, to his facial no. structure, his body looks really wide, and everything else. I mean, there are clothes that you could literally wear that would make you look slimmer. There's like this one trick people like to do that if you wear darker colored clothes, then it'll at least make you look slimmer in appearance. 
<laughs> no, that wasn't what I was trying to do here, but uh, I digress. So what's the takeaway from this picture, man? Well, let's be honest. I think there's a chance that the reason why Zion Williamson took a huge step back is what I was proposing to you guys in our earlier videos, where even if Zion Williamson is fully recovered, even if Zion Williamson could technically play and his foot is healed, I don't think it's in the New Orleans Pelicans' best interest to have this man play legitimate basketball games until he slims down a little bit. I mean, I think yeah. it's going to be a while before the man gets into playing shape. And that's how it should be. You don't want to get a guy that's rumored to be over 300 pounds who recently broke his foot running up and down and competing with some of the greatest sports athletes in the entire world in a 48 minute basketball game. Especially if he's going to have to do that like twice to three times a week at the very minimum. That just sounds like a way to aggravate an injury. And whether his foot yeah. is actually still sore or he is fully healed and is just at the point where he's losing weight, there's no way that Zion Williamson should be playing until he gets back to a respectable weight. And this isn't someone that's just trying to bag on him, man. This is someone that just doesn't want to potentially see this man tear his Achilles or tear his ACL as a result of the weight that he's putting on his knees, let alone his broken foot. He has a history of knee injuries, and I'm just scared that one wrong turn, one wrong pivot, one wrong explosion off of the wrong foot, and this man is going to lose his athleticism for the rest of his career. Again, I'm going to stand by my original take, man. I think they need to put this man on either a very aggressive keto diet for a month or have him do some intermittent fasting that should shed a lot of the weight very quickly although it's not going to be necessarily the most sustainable weight to keep up it'll at least give him a jump start on what he needs to do to get back into playing shape i do understand that he has a broken foot so it might not be the easiest to exercise but there's forms of cardio that you could do without your feet man so i think diet and exercise are crucial if zion wants to not only return but to return at a good playing weight and not risk further injury and hopefully we start getting pictures of him looking slimmer man let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all this Aside yeah, really that, i'm your boy mike pounds, drop our mic until our next upload mate damn catch on 4k but no, wait this nigga a little free <laughs> this nigga a little free <laughs> flight but caught your ass slipping boy but nah bro like for real though if you on this video, man, I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, because, you know what I'm saying, I appreciate you, bro, because I wouldn't expect you to be whoever you is right now. I wouldn't expect you to be watching this video right now. I would not be expecting it. So for you, you know what I'm saying, clicking my shit, and, you know what I'm saying, watch it through, or even halfway, I appreciate whoever watch my video, bro, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, hey, y'all have a nice day, bro. You know what I'm saying, I got more videos to do. So let's get it. Let's get this shit, bro.